In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to move columns in Excel. So there's different ways in which you can do this. Let's say we want to move column B to column G. Select column B. You can go to the Home tab, then select Cut. Now we want to move to column G, but you need to select column H because you're going to lose a column and it's going to move it from H to G. So if we want to put it to G, select H. And then what you can do at this point is right click, insert cut cells. Let's try another example. Instead of moving one column, let's move two columns. So I'm going to move column B and C to I and J. So let's highlight B and C. And you could right click um, and then go to cut instead of going to the home tab and pressing cut. So if we right click, press cut. Now we want to move it to H and I. So I'm going to highlight J and K. Right click and then insert cut cells. So I selected J and K, but since I lost two rows to the left, it's going to push it two rows to the left here. Now there's some other ways in which you can move a row in the column. Let's put these two back where they came from. Now, another way in which you can do this, let's highlight row B, hold down the shift key, and then move the mouse until you see the four arrow icon. Left click, hold, and then drag it to where you want it to go. So that's another way in which you can move a column. Let's do that again. So hold down the shift key, move it till you see the four arrow icon, and then drag it wherever you want to move it. Now we can also move two rows or three rows at once using the same process. So let's highlight three rows, hold down the shift key, and then drag wherever you want it to go. So that's how you can move columns from one spot to another in Excel.